Hey y'all, it's Favor Trainer with the Belt Buckle. Today we're gonna to help you pass the CSCS. I wrote the book, How to Become a Successful Personal Trainer. The only reason I took the CSCS is to put it on my book, because it's respected out there. And we're gonna get you to pass this within 60 days with these three pointers. We have physical locations in La Jolla, which I'm at right now. La Jolla. Los Angeles, West Hollywood, and Santa Monica. I've been a strength coach for over five years, teach trainers. We have a course getting you to pass the CSCS by asking questions. So most importantly, number one, don't read the textbook. No, don't do it. Don't you dare do it. But you gotta get as much information as your head so you can talk to athletes in this esoteric way and confuse the hell out of them. No, you don't. Your goal is to pass it as quickly as you can so you can go out there and gain supervised experience. Get into an environment. One of our strength coaches that we helped pass it, him and I went to Rams practice in 2017. We worked with Ted Rapp, the strength coach. Watching that fly on the wall, one day you will learn more in that experience than any textbook out there on becoming a strength coach. So you gotta get through this as quickly as you can, which leads you to number two. Focus on chapters 1, 13, and 21. That's it. We've had people pass it without even going through the textbook. You don't need it. Our study guide is what you, need, what you really need. And that's number three. We have Zoom calls Monday and Thursday, at 1 o'clock, where you get asked questions. I'm really hung up on this. I'm hung up on sliding filament theory. Sure, we'll break it down for you. We have professors on our board of education, physical therapists, registered dietitians. We will give you just what you need to pass it. You don't want 100% on this exam. You want to pass it so you can start gaining supervised experience, which is the most important part of it because you need to go through an internship. I teach personal trainers. We can get anyone to pass and ask and that stuff, that bullshit's easy. But we're going through an in-person internship, two months. These are trainers. And I had a strength coach reach out to me and say, I just passed the CSCS with your help, thank you. Wanted to come in and sit in one of your classes. I said, sure, come on in. And we're going over the movement patterns. Push, pull, squat, hinge, unilateral, carry, transitional. And we were going over the hinge, the hinge on a deadlift. This guy's taking notes. Oh, this is interesting. I've never deadlifted before. I can't wait to start showing my, my tennis players. I'm like, whoa, time out. No. Don't learn one day on how to deadlift and start doing this on tennis players. Just because you have a CSCS doesn't mean you're a qualified coach or a strength and conditioning expert. Programming in this textbook is subpar in my opinion. It's not bad, it's not amazing, it's not terrible, but it's just, it gets you by C. You need to go out there and learn from those that are doing what you want to do. And the textbook is not gonna help you do that. So I cannot stress that there's people out there we follow, we go into these little groups, Learn about bioenergetics in this one hour course. Hold on, Tiger. That's fine. I'm all about learning and nerding out. We have professors to learn from that book. This was one of our professors, joking. Skelly, we'll teach you all that shit. If you want to learn about osteoblasts and the, the formation, bone mineral density, sarcoplasmic reticulum, sure. But your athletes don't give a shit. And you need to have buy in. So if you really spend a year getting into that textbook and you know everything from front to the end, and you go in there and you try to relate with your athletes by telling them about actin and myosin and titan, and let me tell you about the, the mechanisms of my person, they don't give a flying fuck. They want to perform their exercises better so they can move better on the court, the field, the pool, whatever it is, and they want to do it in a safe and most importantly effective way. And that's where great strength coaches come in. So again, we teach personal trainers, but we can get anyone to pass the CSCS. We have weekly calls, get into those. Shoot me a DM, Instagram, show up fitness internship, or show up fitness, or Chris at showupfitness.com. Barack, Little and I, he's the other instructor. You get to ask us questions on what you're hung up with on the exam. We have a study guide, and we go over questions like this in class. So, let's see how you would do. Which of the following is the most superficial part of the muscle? Epimysium, paramysium, or endomysium? Correct answer is epimysium. Epi means on the epicenters, on top. And you're gonna go peri and then endo. So you don't need to read every tiny detail and memorize it. It's good to read chapter once. 
but more importantly, just get the answers of what they're looking for. Chapter four, review. A 19-year-old female basketball player, she can bench 125, squat 205, and a VO2 max of 38. What would you suggest to work on in the off season? Upper and lower body strength, A, B, upper body strength only, or C, VO2 max. We have a lot of case examples like this in the study guide and we've discussed them. So the correct answer would be C, VO2 max. So that's pretty poor. You need to know the ranges, what's decent, what's great, and the percent charts that you would find on 295. That page is important to know. Last but not least, to give you a little teaser with the guides like, which of the following resistance training loads is most effective for increasing serum testosterone concentrations in boys and younger men? A, 85 to 95%, B, 75 to 85, or C, 50 to 75? The answer for three would be A, 85 to 95%. So we have over 200 questions part of our guide. You can just get that in itself. Get through it, focus on the guide. People will buy all these guides and go to all these different Facebook groups and you're getting system overload. You gotta get through this ASAP. Time is money. I would much rather you go through it, fail one section, at least you know what's gonna be on the exam. And so you can gain experience at, within an internship and then you can go back and take it again. Don't waste six plus months just studying the textbook. You're missing out on opportunities to gain supervised experience. Hopefully you found this helpful. Check out our guide, check out our Zoom classes. All you gotta do is show up.